In today's video, I will show you how I made this collage animation video in Canva by using a combination of AI generation and good old fashioned stop motion techniques. I'll play the full video at the end of this tutorial. Let's get straight into it. This video took over 600 Canva pages to create, so to keep this tutorial short and to the point, I'm going to break down four different scenes, which should be enough for you to get started on your own animation. Let's start with the intro. Open Canva and create a new design. I'm using a 16 by nine video crop, but you can follow along with whatever dimensions suit your project. For the opening scene, let's first open the video library and search for old TV. Select this one and place it on the edge of the canvas so it snaps into the background position. Now let's add the title using scrapbook letters. Open the elements tab and search for scrapbook letter followed by the letter you need. In this case, it's L. As you can see, Canva has a large selection of letters to choose from in their library so you should find one that suits your needs. Repeat this process until you complete the full title, then optionally add a subtitle in a hand-drawn font. In this case, it's the storybook rough font. Select all of the scrapbook letters, then open the animations panel and give them a scrapbook animation, making sure on enter is selected. Then select the subtitle and give it a typewriter animation. Create a new page and select the background image for the next scene. In this case, I have used a space image and applied a retro filter, so it fits nicely with the overall theme of the animation. Copy the image, paste it onto the intro scene, then open the position tab and send it to the back. You'll see why we do this later. Let's start on the sweeping hand effect. Open the photos library, select the cutouts only filter and search for helping hand. Select this one, rotate it to 90 degrees and flip it vertically. At this point, you can click on the edit photo tab and under the effects section, select the duotone effect. Select whatever tone suits your theme I have found the sepia tone to be the most suitable for that retro look and feel. In the timeline at the bottom, move the playhead just past where the animations of the letters finishes. Then right click and click on split page. Delete the hand from the first page, then open the second page, select all of the wording, open the animations panel and select clear animations. Reposition the hand to the very left of the frame, so only the thumb is visible. At this point, it's a good idea to select the thumbnail zoom function and zoom in to 500%. Position the playhead at the start of page two, then move it forward by 0.1 of a second and split the page by pressing S on your keyboard. Now move the hand forward slightly Select the background video and crop it so it matches with the index finger of the hand. Repeat this process until the hand reaches the other side of the frame, making sure to reposition the letters as it moves to give a sweeping hand effect. And as you can see, we are left with the background image for the next scene Let's get to work on that. First, we need to generate our alien planet with AI. Open the app section and search from the Magic Media app. Open the graphics tab and under styles, select the scrapbook style. We only need to enter a basic prompt here, alien planet, should do. As usual, you can repeat the generation process if you don't initially get the correct results. Add the image to the canvas and resize it to the smallest possible dimensions. 
Then change the duration of the page to 0.2 of a second. Click on the page and press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Enlarge the planet on the next page, then repeat until the planet is in clear view. Duplicate the page one more time and set the duration to 3.5 seconds. Then add the title above the planet using scrapbook letters, giving them the scrapbook animation once again. Select the planet and give it a rotation motion effect at the slowest speed. And let's also select a custom animation so it appears to be floating. When drawing the path, Move the planet in small circular motions, then select the smooth movement style to avoid jerky movements. Open the Elements tab and search for a scrapbook arrow. Select this one, change the color and position, and give it a neon animation. Right-click on the arrow and select Show Timing. Have it appear after the letters have finished animating. Let's preview this scene. Nice. Now continue the stop motion process until the planet covers the entirety of the canvas. We'll come back to the scene later. Open a new page and in the photos section, search for alien planet sky. Select this one and place it on the background of the canvas. Open the Duo Tone section and give it a peppermint tone at 45%. Now open the Photo section again and search for Industrial Warehouse Exterior. Select this one and open the Edit Photo section and select the Background Remover tool. Give the image a sepia tone at 80%. Then open the Edit Photo section again and select the Magic Edit tool. Draw the brush over this section, then prompt it to create a sign that says Robot Factory. Select one you like, then open the Grab Text tool and select the wording on the sign we just created. Change the text so it reads Robot Factory, then select the text layer and image, then group them by pressing Ctrl G. Position the Robot Factory to the bottom of the canvas. Open the Position tab and in the Layers section, press Shift and select the group and background image, then right-click on the canvas and select Copy. Open the previous planet page and paste the layers onto the canvas, then open the Layers panel and send them behind the planet layer. Copy and paste the planet layer. Then reposition the second one so it sits directly on top of the original. Crop the first layer from right to left to the center of the page. Then do the same to the bottom layer from the other direction so they meet in the middle. Open the Elements tab and search for Paper Tear. Select this one, rotate and resize to the center of the page. Then duplicate it, so we have two identicals stacked on top of each other. Open the Positions tab, hold Control, and select one tier layer and one planet half, then group them together, then do the same for the remaining two layers. Now you can proceed with the stop motion process pulling the two planet layers apart while simultaneously raising the robot factory layer up as the next scene comes into view. Let's move on to this next scene so I can show you how to give the illusion of depth and perspective. Firstly, I generated the spacecraft by using the same scrapbook style graphics in the Magic Media app. I then placed my avatar behind the craft and gave it a sepia tone and replicated another version by altering a different avatar image to look similar to me from behind. To give the impression that an object is moving towards you, simply enlarge it as you go through the pages in the stop motion process. Make it smaller to give the impression of moving away from the viewer. 
and you can also decrease the transparency for added effect. Now, let's look at the scenes where I am moving through different landscapes on Earth. First set up the initial scene with the subject placed in the center of the canvas. Place two guidelines just above the subject, one touching the top of the layer and the other a few pixels above. As you work your way through the stop motion, enlarge the background image for each page and move the subject up and down between the two guidelines like so. Now let's play the full animation. If you have questions about any of the scenes I didn't cover, feel free to shoot me a comment below. Oh, and the music I used was AI generated. Until next time. See ya.